So it was. So this one is kind of more the sad part of the coronavirus situation uh, because it is about to get a whole lot worse. And of course, um, I did not watch. Or if, well, I didn't. I shouldn't say I didn't watch it. I didn't finish Fantastic Mr. Fox. I started it last night. Did not finish it. I did not have time. We got me and my grandparents got up nine o'clock, and we went out of town uh, a couple hours in the car. We went to uh, to get this um, electric wheelchair, and I'm testing it out, seeing how it works. Um, probably will not show it in any videos because it's very difficult to film and control. Um, but yeah, that happened. Uh, so that was fun. We went, we went to In-N-Out. You know, I got my vanilla Coke from Jack in the Box on the way. And then we went to In-N-Out for dinner. Had some shrimp. You know, some fun stuff happened. That's basically all that happened. Uh, I'm not going to say anything else happened really besides that. Because I didn't. This morning though, my uncle, he has a job. His uh, work shut down. Because now we are in a statewide quarantine. So all the restaurants have now officially uh, shut down. To just take out and delivery. All the theaters completely have shut down. Which I already knew happened anyways. All the gyms have completely shut down. Everything is gone. Um, so we are pretty nervous. In fact my aunt she works at a hospital. Here in town. I'm not going to say where I live of course. Because that is a very dangerous thing. And if you want, if you're children watching this. And you make videos. Uh, or about 13 or whatever. You should already know. Do not share where you live. I, just, I share my state because no one can really find me in a state. They were like, well, they can, but it's like so many freaking people live in a state that they'll probably never find me. So, and I don't think anyone watches my videos to care that much. Um, but, you know, I didn't watch my episode of Doctor Who uh, this week or today. I will do this tomorrow. I have a lot of homework to do tomorrow, too. So I, you know, I still will get it all done. I'll put things together. Um, I'm still working. I'm still being progressive. But I will tell you this. In these videos, I will not be going out anymore. Uh, I am currently staying with my grandparents. And if you know this virus, it only affects certain age groups. And I have a brother at home who has valley fever. Um, I have people staying with my family who have young children, and so it's a bad deal. Um, my aunt, like I said, she works at a hospital here in my town where I live in. She's had four cases pop up. Four cases of people who have this virus. That is freaking scary. Uh, that Because this week, it is Friday at the time of recording this, Friday, keep mind you, Friday, the school shut down, it was announced the schools were going to shut down Monday night, or Sunday night, they shut down Wednesday, There, that is the exact day that there was an actual case where I live that popped up, there were actually now multiple cases, and, it, and they announced, and then they announced a statewide quarantine, now, my thing about this is, it, we are supposed to go back to school after April 14th, about uh, after spring break. I do not think that will be happening. I think school is officially canceled for the rest of the year, maybe longer. Uh, I highly doubt longer, but it will be canceled for the rest of the year. I can see that happening. Um, and I, that means theaters will not be reopening. Um, I can't have any reviews of new releases and different things. It will force me to have to buy more movies on physical media to have reviews out and do things that like that. I, you know, you can't really go to places. Uh, it's going to cause a lot of economic issues in this country because this is not just happening in, in my state of California. It's happening other places around the world. Um, it's going to cause some major issues here and I'm, incredibly sad about this because you know I, I was thinking a, a couple days ago I want to go down to the comic book shop buy some more comics that's not happening anymore uh, I, I, I won't, I'm afraid to even go to the comic book shop 
And again, it's not like it's going to affect me and get me sick. Because if it does, it's not going to kill me. I'll be sick for a couple days, whatever. I have so many people around me that cannot have this virus. They cannot do this. Every time I come in and out, I wash my hands. The really only places I go now are the park. Uh, I, I don't even really hang out with friends. I'm just texting them, really. Um, of course, I don't have many friends, to be honest. But, uh, you know, I'm working on different stuff. I've been cleaning up my collection of different things. I've been doing different things because... It is a very scary issue now. I'm afraid of this virus. And uh, I'm scared for the people I'm surrounded by. You know, because we sometimes, you know, my grandparents don't want to cook for one night. You know, they don't want to cook dinner. So they want to go out and get something to eat. Well, we can't do that anymore. So they have to do takeout. But even takeout scary because you don't know who's handling your food, whether the workers had gloves on or not. Maybe they had the virus. You don't know. It's scary. And I love how a lot of people were saying, hey, it's not a big deal. Why are we shutting down these schools? You know, there's not going to, there, there isn't a case here yet. Well, those people, I say, well, yeah, you're freaking stupid because they were going to shut it down before there was a case. And guess what? They did that, and we're a lot safer now. <laughs> you know, we're taking the precautions necessary to keep people safe. The masses need to be safe. <laughs> it's it's crazy right now. Our country, uh, the country of the United States, is in disarray right now. Uh, my churches are closed worldwide, so I don't even go to church. Um, I probably... I was thinking about going to yard sales in the morning. I honestly don't think there will be any. Uh, I was thinking there might be because people, you know, uh, might, you know, just be um, out there doing different things, um, you know, cleaning their houses because they're stuck at home. But I'm just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I might still check, but I'm kind of afraid to go. I, you know, I, like I said, this virus, dangerous thing. I don't want the people I'm staying with to get sick, which is my grandparents. I don't want, you know, my family members at home to get sick. Other people staying with us. It's a very scary issue. Um, but on the bright side, I'm not out of these hot Cheetos and I'm keeping it fresh with this little thing here. So clip chip bag clip so I'm being safe um I know I don't know you know I, I'm gonna have to go to the store at some point but I'm just I'm nervous is all and uh we, we're still having troubles finding toilet paper we've been having trouble finding toilet paper for weeks hand sanitizer we've called several stores we've tried ordering online we can't find it anywhere and, of course, my grandparents actually need it because it's going to affect them. A lot of these people are taking this toilet paper are not actual people who need it. They're just overstocking it for no reason because they're being paranoid. So, it's a really bad deal. And I'm kind of even scared to go to the park now. I, I, reason I'm not scared to go to the park is I usually go to the park by myself or with a friend. And, uh, we, you know, we usually go out. And, um, you know, it's... I got to get out and go for car rides or do something, you know. I can't just be stuck here the whole time. Um, you know what I mean? It, it's it's a thing. Um, I'm very nervous about this. I still need to watch the new episode of Clone Wars that dropped today. I will do that. Um, but I'm just, I'm just letting you know all that I'm honestly more scared... And I've ever been right now. Um, I don't want to scare you. I, I I just don't want to scare you. I really don't. I want you to just be aware. That's part of why I'm in vlogging this. Also, I want to have content out for you. Uh, but just be careful. Take care of your families, your friends, you know. Um, you know, if... It's, maybe it's time you try new things. Like you want to learn how to play piano and you got a piano in your house. 
it's time you start doing that. You know, look up how to play piano on YouTube and try to learn how to do that. Uh, you know, you want to read some comics. Um, you know, I might do a video of things I recommend to watch during the coronavirus. I'm, that actually, let me know if you want to see that. Some video, some stuff I recommend to watch during the coronavirus. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I, maybe I will. Maybe I will uh, do that. Actually, I think that could be fun. Uh, maybe try listening to some new albums or different things. Uh, just, you know, maybe I would recommend doing this. Uh, going to stores like FYE and, uh, and uh, Best Buy. And uh, just buying, like, I don't know, five, ten new movies um, for $5.00. At uh, Best Buy. Because they have a $5 Blu-ray bin. And there's lots of good stuff. And there's some good titles. Uh, you should check that out. FYE has a lot of used movies you can get for cheap. They have great deals on that too. Uh, you know, just stuff like that. I recommend doing that. Places I don't recommend going. If you're like a collector like me. I don't recommend going to Goodwills and thrift shops. That's that's just too scary. Uh, because that, that stuff has been handled by who knows what. You know. So I'd be careful about that, but I'm recommending those places because this is the time that you're going to be staying home watching movies. Also, the good news is for Disney Plus uh, subscribers like myself, um, Frozen 2, I hate Frozen 2, but if you like that movie, uh, it did drop early on Disney Plus, and I believe The Rise of Skywalker is to follow suit on that, and I'm pretty excited about that because I love The Rise of Skywalker. I, I saw it five times in the theater, so crying out loud. It's not that great of a movie, yes, but I loved it, and I gave it a positive review, which I kind of regret doing now, but I still like the movie. I, you know, I, I don't know what you want from me. Just take my Star Wars reviews, really, as not me talking about the quality of the film, just my own personal feelings on the film, because Star Wars is more of a personal thing to me anyways. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to say that right now. Um, so, yeah, I just take care of yourselves. Uh, I probably record that video of what to watch, but I need to, I kind of need to sit on that. Um, you know, try Apple TV. I don't have it, but I've heard there's a, there's a show on there that has a couple episodes directed by M. Night Shyamalan. That one might be a good thing to check out. Check out some new interesting content. Uh, you know, uh, different stuff out there. Be careful. You know, check out. Check out there. Sorry, I'm messing with this laptop up here. Uh, but I recommend uh, that you do this. I, I I'm really am scared. Uh, but I'm I don't want to scare you all too much. I think we're all gonna be okay if we take care of ourselves. And also, we try ways to distract ourselves from what's going on. You know, you don't want to just sit around being all weird and paranoid. You'd actually sit down and watch something funny. Um, yeah. Here's a pretty, one of the funniest movies ever made. Just look up any Mel Brooks comedy if you can find them. Watch them. This is one of my favorites, Blazing Saddles. This movie's not for everyone. It is a uh, very raunchy movie. Uh, it's, well, kind of raunchy, but uh, it's more, it's it's a it's parody of racism, so they do say the N-word and things like that. Now, this movie is not racist because the white people are just, they're stupider than the black people, and it's kind of this whole thing where it's making fun of it. You have to really see it to understand it, but uh, if that's something that will trigger you and offend you, this is not for you. Don't watch it. Um, if you like really stupid comedies, just buddy comedies, uh, this one's a pretty funny one. The, you know, there's this guy, Bernie, he dies, and it's just kind of them trying to, um, you know, conv make sure, like convince everyone he's alive and kind of they end up in this weird, funny scenario. It's a pretty funny movie. So these are the funny ones I recommend. Uh, another one I'm really funny. Uh, this is a, another raunchy movie, but there's also a sequel to this, which I've never seen the sequel to Anchorman. Um, 
but this is a funny movie. A very it's a it's a raunchy movie, yes, but it's again it's a parody of uh, sexism and things like that, and the workplace and just stuff like that. If you want funny movies, these are good ones to check out. Uh, you know, these ones are really good. If you want that, um, but and also just try some stuff new. You know, because you never know what you're gonna enjoy. Uh, you know, I started watching jo Doctor Who, and I'm really getting into the series, and I want to watch more because I'm pretty like Doctor Who's pretty awesome. So uh, you know, I'm just saying, try some new stuff. Watch some funny movies. You know, I, w I wouldn't be... This isn't the time to go to watch some serious drama to make you cry, okay? You know, try to enjoy yourself. Keep yourself calm in this crisis. You know, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Um, of course, and if you enjoy dramas and that's what you really enjoy, then, you know, go ahead and do that. But I'm just saying, you know, that's, that's, that's my consensus on that. Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed, uh, I'm really, you know, enjoying the break a little bit, but I'm also not at the same time. I wish this wasn't happening, but unfortunately it is. And I think, I think what scares me the most is that China is a very secretive country about what is going on. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if they're hiding. I, I don't know exactly for sure if they're hiding information, but most likely they are. Um, and it's unfortunate and I do not like where, what is happening. I think it's a very scary issue and I think we just need to be safe and take precautions in our own country and be safe. Uh, you know, I'm surviving people, but I'm also a little, getting more, a little more nervous because it's getting bigger every day now. Um, but I think we'll all be okay. Um, just... Don't just be antisocial for a while. That's what I'm doing. Don't make eye contact with people. Don't talk to your family, your friends. Just don't talk to anyone. Don't touch anyone. Just, just, just don't. Just get a, get a puppy. That's this is a good time to go get a puppy to keep you company. Just that's what I would do. I'm not going to buy a puppy now. Uh, actually, that's not a good idea because um, puppies are a lot of work and uh, you know. I, and what if you need to like start? And what if you were one of those people who wants to start taking out walks and taking the park and you t and you touch somebody's dog and that dog has the coronavirus and it gets your dog the coronavirus and then gives it to you and then it's just just don't do anything don't don't talk to anyone don't touch animals just just sit at a sit in a room and stare at a blank wall. Actually, what if that wall has the coronavirus? I'd be okay. You know what? Don't even don't even listen to anything I'm saying. We're all gonna die. Just we're all gonna die, people. I might go eat these Cheetos and cry. Video over.